Well, all of us in this room look bad sometimes, right? Raise your hand if you never look bad. We all look bad sometimes. When, when do we look bad? When the demands being placed upon us outstrips the skills we have to respond adaptively to those demands. Wow. It's the same. Well, if we look bad when the clash of the two forces occurs, and if challenging kids look bad when the clash of the two forces occurs, then what's the difference between challenging kids and the rest of us? The answer? Not much. Well, because, because they're lacking skills, the clash of the two forces occurs in them more easily, and therefore more often, and their reaction to it tends to be more extreme than it is for the rest of us, but there's the difference between challenging kids and the rest of us. What, once again, what have we got that they haven't got? Skills, not motivation, skills. Now, by, one other thing I should mention, those two forces don't have to clash. That is not the only possible combination of those two forces. Let me show you what I mean. If the environment is demanding skills and a kid has those skills, the clash of the two forces does not occur. Challenging behavior does not occur. I have just depicted why most kids aren't challenging most of the time. There it is. They have the skills to deal with the demands that are being placed upon them. If a kid is lacking skills, but the environment is not demanding those skills at a particular moment, the clash of the two forces does not occur. Challenging behavior does not occur. I have just depicted why challenging kids are not always challenging. There it is. But if the environment is demanding skills and the kid is lacking those skills, the clash of the two forces does occur, the likelihood of challenging behavior has been greatly heightened. Here's what I'm standing here practically guaranteeing you. If you are reading about, listening to people describing, or observing challenging behavior with your own eyes, what you're hearing about, and what you're reading about, and what you're observing with your own eyes, is clashing forces. The question is, is, is that the filter you have in? Are those the lenses you have on?